Hey, welcome back to the show. 6A girls swimming looked to be a battle between three-time defending champs Austin Westlake and the Woodlands. Highlanders strike first, taking the 200-yard medley, breaking their own state record in the prelims. 200 free, Westlake's Dakota Luther strikes back. The junior with a three-peat and a chance for four straight as a senior next season. It was fun. It felt really good. Um, you know, there's definitely still things to fix, but I'm very happy with it right now. Pearland's Jaden Bellina also with a three-peat. The Lady Oiler takes the 200 IM before heading off to swim at Auburn next year. It just gets more exciting, and I knew it was my senior year, and I knew I just wanted to bring home the gold again. So get gold and go Tiger. Yes, sir. 53, the Woodlands' Lucy Nordman set the state mark in prelim. No records for her in the finals. Hey, but she does get back-to-back -back state gold. In practice, we've been working on tempo and trying to get my arms swinging really fast. I've been doing some straight arms, so I think that really made the difference. Keller's Taylor Olthauser, an SMU commit, and she is the defending champ, but this year it's freshman Bridget O'Neill of Southlake that steals the show and state gold. I came in excited in the first the prelims. It was rough going back and forth with Taylor. Happy to be here on top. 100 Butterfly, Westlace Luther the favorite. She breaks former Granberry and Olympic superstar Dana Vollmer's state record, 52-27. Wow. Yeah, this is my first year swimming this event, and I love the Butterfly. It's one of my favorite events, but, you know, it hasn't really crossed my mind back-to-back -back yet. <laughs> 100 free, Austin Anderson's Ella Collins, the only swimmer to go sub 50 seconds. 49.92 for state goal. 500 free now, that goes to another sophomore, Montgomery's Caitlin Sims. 4.46.07 for the grueling win. I was just really excited to go out there and race. Yesterday went pretty well. I was just really excited to go out there and see what all my hard work paid off to be. Westlake adds more team points with a big win in the 200 free relay, but the Woodlands finishes third and adds some points of their own. And then Nordman does it again for the Woodlands, breaks her own state record, 52-48, in the 100 backstroke for yet another state goal. I try to zone in on my lane and focus on what I need to do in that race to get my best outcome. More points for Westlake here. Georgia Tech-bound Kat McGregor holds off a strong field to win the 100 breaststroke. My coaches and my teammates all like pick me up and everything, and I just like they're the reason why I went so fast because they just told me to relax and have fun, and then that's exactly what I did, and I couldn't be happier. So it's tied 225 apiece for Westlake in lane three and the Woodlands over in lane four. But the Highlanders with the Nordman sisters, Lucy and Lillian, UT commit Emily Reese, and Kentucky-bound Peyton F. shatter the state 400 free relay record and in so doing, take the team title as well over Westlake. They loved it. They were excited. They wanted it. And they just brought it. And uh, it was just, it was, what, a, what an ending. What an ending. Awesome job. The Woodlands second last year, but topped the podium for a seventh time in school history this year, edging out Westlake 265 to 259. Southlake Carroll finishes in third.